In part one of the torque rod, we learned to identify types of torque rods and the important functions they serve. In part two, we'll learn how to identify torque rod problems with visual clues. Like bushing walkout. Bushing walkout is caused by misalignment, characterized by excessive rubber exposed on one side and often metal on metal on the opposite side. Transverse rods must be perpendicular to the frame rail when installed. The Technology and Maintenance Council recommends to not exceed plus or minus 1.5 degrees on a transverse rod. While the rod will always try to find center, because of varying parameters, ATOL recommends installing transverse rods as close to 90 degrees as possible. And if not installed properly, well, lots of bad things can happen. Bushing walkout can also be caused by not allowing lubricant for bushing installation to dissipate, or it could simply be a bond failure. Bushing extrusion, also called deformation, is often caused by a condition known as oil soaked, which can happen when the rubber comes in prolonged contact with chemical agents like these. The rubber becomes soft and pliable, and the weight of the truck extrudes it out the sides of the bushing. Extrusion can also be caused by exceeding the rating of the bushing. Overloading the suspension can actually push the rubber out of the bushing. Torque rod corrosion can be the result of failed paint or powder coating, as well as exposure to caustic chemicals which attack the metal. If you see corrosion, it's definitely a safety hazard and the rod should be replaced. Catastrophic failure sounds bad and is almost always the result of some other symptom going unchecked. This should almost never happen as torque rods showing no physical damage tend to go bad slowly. Damaged grease seals and sealed ball type bushings are caused by age and contact with foreign objects. Once that seal is broken, the lost lubrication will cause a metal on metal situation. Finding a bent rod usually means it's suffered a hard impact or it is the improper rod length. Replacement is obviously necessary. Broken torque rods, while rare, are caused by exceeding the load rating of the vehicle suspension. Broken transverse rods can be caused by misalignment. Worn straddle pin mounting holes are caused by loose or over-tightened fasteners. Damage to the pin itself is usually due either to impact or severe misalignment, or out of round brackets due to improper bushing removal. Bushing windup is caused by improper bushing angle. Look for radial cracks in the rubber. Bushing windup is the result of the bushing not being clocked to match the angle of the mounting brackets. This causes accelerated wear of the bushing due to preloaded rotational force. Bushing position challenges are eliminated with Atros bushings because they are designed to rotate. This relieves the stress inherent in bonded rubber while reducing stress on key components of the truck. This means easier and faster installation by eliminating the time and effort of figuring bushing clocking angles and rubber windup. Atro's rotating bushing design also allows you to reduce inventory because it won't be necessary to stock same length rods with different degree clocking. Ordering Atro torque rods is fast and easy. Once you have determined the bushing type and rod length, simply visit atrobushing.com, click on torque rod finder, and enter your information. All torque rods are not the same. The combination of Atro's rotating bushing and our superior application-specific polyurethane outperforms rubber in every way. And that's why Atro can provide the industry's only three-year parts warranty and a two-year warranty on small light torque rods. In short, Atro torque rods last longer. For you and your fleet, that means less downtime and more road time.